Welcome to DentistryIQ.com. I'm Lauren Burns, here today with Mike Uritz to continue the discussion on electronic health records in the dental office. Mike is here today to talk about the dentist's role in the process, um, and he's going to highlight some of the features from this month's column. Mike, uh, you mentioned that dentists should evaluate the shortcomings in their current software to identify what they really need out of the EHR system. How can they go about doing that? Well, the first thing is the dentist really gets into the mindset of what they don't like about their present software. I'm sure there's many times they've been sitting with a patient using their software saying to themselves, boy, I wish this software could do A, B, and C. For example, a big thing I hear from a lot of dentists is that they wish that there could be a lot of information together on the same screen. For example, medication lists, health histories, past procedures. Uh, they also tell me that it would be really nice if the images could be on the same screen with the patient records so they don't have to go back and forth. Uh, a third thing that I think is really important to dentists that they tell me a lot of on their wish list is regarding the documentation. For example, wouldn't it be nice if you could actually be doing your progress note and doing a lot of point and click on procedures, diagnosis, whatever, instead of having to write, 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 and then try to find that information later. So again, think about the features that you don't see in your software, and that's a good place to start. Uh, you also mentioned that assistance from the vendor salesperson is critical to making a good decision. Uh, what can dentists expect from their interaction with the salesperson, and how can they get the most out of it? They can expect a lot. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be facetious, but your salespeople, your account reps are there to basically serve you during this whole selection process. You need a lot of information to make a decision. And really, your sales reps are the people that can get you that information. In addition to that, they should also be on your team. They should be your partner. They really shouldn't be looking for their commission or to make the sale. They should be leading you through a journey. And as a partner, helping you to look at their software so you can maximize it and really make that decision. So I think too many reps, especially if they have past relationships, just kind of slide by this process. So really demand that they give you the information and the partnership that, that really you deserve. And you also mentioned that even though the dentist is involved in selecting an EHR system that works best for his or her office, uh, implementation still often fail. Why is that? Well, I think it goes to the idea of being involved, those two words. Too many times when dentists purchase really any kind of software system, they just expect the vendor to come in like a knight in shining armor, swoop down and just install and everything works, everything's kumbaya. Unfortunately, things don't work that way. And there are decisions that need to be made along the way. For example, uh, if you're putting up certain clinical templates for treatments, well, every dentist might do things a little differently. So that's a customization you would ask of your vendor. There's a lot of flexibility and a lot of customization in some of the better electronic health record passage, uh, packages. And therefore, as a dentist, you should be involved during the process so you can lead your vendor in making the right decision and the right customizations. The reason they fail, implementations fail, is again because there's not enough engagement from the practice side and they just count on the vendor to do it all. Our readers can discover more on identifying shortcomings in their current software, figuring out what they really need from EHR system, and identifying the ideal level of involvement in the process in this month's column, Electronic Health Records and the Dentist.